Hi there, everybody. Peter of England. A video short today coming from uh, a part of uh, the world that many people don't really travel to and there are not so many uh, major visits. But this is Sri Lanka. And what we could be in is in any town in the world, any country in the world, any place in the world. And what we have is meetings like the one that is going on behind us here, um, hosted by the World Bank Group. And in fact, what this is doing is making what's called preparedness for the next pandemic. Uh, in this very same place, only eight weeks ago, um, there was a WHO, World Health Organization meeting, where they were talking about the preparedness and the logistical routes and uh, applicability in preparing for the next pandemic and everything that entailed, including warehousing, supply chains, uh, there were various products that were required, how much would be required, and the various budgets involved. And as you can imagine, this was being hosted here in Sri Lanka because it is a hub for the uh, Southeast Asian region, which includes places like Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, there were many representatives and delegates from Japan as well. So I bring this to your attention because if you're in your, your, uh, you know, your normal domestic environment, you don't tend to see things like this happening. It's only for those people who travel to various uh, locations for whatever reason, and this one just so happens to be uh, being taken place while we're here. And the World Bank Group is behind it. There are a lot of people involved in this. And to be quite honest, everything, everything is really commercial. Um, you also have to ask yourself, why do these people know with such a certainty that the next pandemic or the next health risk is on its way when the likes of you and I formerly for many hundred years could only suspect that this was just a, an act of God that was coming their way and nothing more. So please pass this video on, hit the notification bell uh, if you like it for further updates. And I bring it to you really just to make you more and more aware of the tightening grip of, the, of this Orwellian tyrannical health excuse state now that's being imposed upon everybody. And for those people who don't know, uh, I read in the news, it was on the BBC the other day, that from uh, early 2024, for example, UK citizens are gonna require a visa. Uh, the AT, ETIAS, I think it would be called, uh, a visa to allow you to go and travel into a European country which can be refused on all grounds. Uh, the eligibility factors are down to the government or an AI program that will stop you or prevent you if you are, for example, a health risk, a controversial character, they don't like the cut of your suit. So that's what's coming and I would suggest on the back of the central bank digital currency, people should start preparing now for the worst. Okay, Peter of England saying thank you.